Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, David here. Thanks for coming back for another video. Uh, are you doing okay? I hope so. <laughs> I'm doing okay, I just just finished work, so I'm a little bit tired, so I've got some bags, I can't see if the filter's gonna get those. Um, well, today I'm gonna talk about uh, a bit of a shopping video. Um, I've done one of those for a little while, maybe 100 yen shop was the last one, I'm not sure. Uh, but they seem to be quite popular, so I thought I'd find some interesting shops to go to in uh, Osaka. Um, so a few months ago, I think it was maybe in the middle of November, that Nintendo shop opened in Osaka. Um, there's already one in Tokyo, it's been open for a few years. Uh, it's in the in Parko in Shibuya. And uh, now we've finally got one in Osaka too. It's in the Daimaru building in Meda, next to JR Osaka Station. Um, it's been a bit of a pain to get a ticket to go inside. It's just a shop, but you needed to get a ticket to enter, which is kind of insane. Um, it was that popular. Uh, but now it's quieted down, uh, quietened, quietened down a bit after the holidays, then it's, uh, I could just walk in. I, I was a bit worried I was gonna be stopped from filming things, but uh, yeah, it's all for promotion, so it's all, all good for the shop, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna look at that today, the Nintendo shop. Um, also, the same floor, there's actually quite a lot of uh, kind of uh, geeky interest places to go. Uh, the big other main shop there is the Pokemon Center, which has been open for a long time. Uh, even when I came to Japan the first time it was there. So we've got Pokemon Center, Nintendo Shop, there's a few other ones as well. I'm not going to spoil that, you can, you can uh, wait and see. <laughs> or I guess you've read the description, maybe it's on there. So anyway, I'll, I'll stop talking and get straight to it. So I'm going to do a commentary as well. Please like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm really looking for uh, a few more subscribers. We really want to get to 500 by the second anniversary in March. So if you can, please help me out by uh, yeah, liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, that kind of makes a bit more noise in YouTube, so they'll promote it a bit more. And share this channel. Sharing the channel will help me so much. That will really help me. So please share to some people you think will be interested in Nintendo or Pokemon or shopping or Osaka or any of those things. Okay. So I'm going to shut up and uh, yeah, I'll pass up to myself. I'm going to go and uh, talk my way through. <laughs> so see you later. Okay, so we start today at the South Gate building, uh, which is the um, home of Daimaru Department Store, one of the big department stores in Umeda. If you go to the South Gate building, go to the 13th floor and you'll find a mysterious surprise. Well, actually, I've told you what it is. It's the Nintendo Store Osaka, which opened in November 2022. Uh, it's a pretty huge place as well. Uh, as you can imagine, it's full of your favorite Nintendo characters and themed goods. Uh, can be really crowded on the, on the holidays, so make sure you can you can get in. You have to line up. So let's start with Mario, the big man. Uh, of course, there's a lot of plush dolls um, of the characters. You've got Birdo there. Um, what are those things at the bottom? I don't even know what they are. <laughs> oh, haven't seen Wario for a while too. When's he coming back for a new game? All the various different types of Marios, even some of the weird enemies that you don't really think about that, that much, um, they're representing. Uh, but if you want to be the, the fluffy character, then you can buy one of these um, kind of onesie character things. Or you can wear them as pyjamas or whatever, Halloween costumes. There's a lot of kind of retro games as well, um, or retro uh, accessories. It's got some key rings, things that look like the old uh, video game packages. And some stuff for kids as well, um, even like a hand soap dispenser there, and some Lego. So if you're into Lego, yeah, you can check them out there. There is a big Lego shop in, in Osaka somewhere too. And you can get these special bags. These, these are quite popular these days uh, with the ladies. So you can get the Mario dungarees. They're quite cute really, aren't they? <laughs> okay, let's move on to Zelda. There wasn't a lot of Zelda stuff actually. Um, so I just had a little look around. The usual kind of uh, key rings, stuff like that. Some t-shirts. A lot of retro boxes for things like that, a little rupee bag. And if you want to uh, go to the office too, you can get a nice Zelda shirt, Zelda tie. Is that formal office wear? I'm not sure. Looks like you're going to Hogwarts. Um, there, there are actually quite a lot of wearable uh, things there. So yeah, we've got ties, shirts. If you look in the back, we've got quite a lot of uh, themed shirts as well, uh, if you're into those. Okay, next move on to Splatoon, which is really popular in Japan at least, especially with the younger, younger generation. Of course, you can get your plush dolls, a standard, uh, little cushiony squid things. I don't know what they're called. I've never played Splatoon actually, so don't, don't test me. 
Uh, but yeah, loads and loads of things, uh, cups, glasses, uh, clothes, t-shirts, you yeah, know, you can see it all there. So everything the Splatoon fan can want. And even Pikmin gets a look in. Uh, Pikmin has a little, little display too. You get some little Pikmin socks if you want, some Pikmin shirts. And uh, yeah, Pikmin odds and sods really, little little pencil cases, is that? Little zip bags, all very cute. And of course you can get little plush dolls. We can get plushes of basically everything. <laughs> and some cute little Pikmin logo, uh, like clear files and bags. Eco bags, hopefully sustainable. And of course, Animal Crossing is uh, was a huge hit a few years ago. Um, so you can buy the usual stationery and of course plush dolls too. And there's a huge cast in Animal Crossing, so we've got all sorts there: special characters, new uh, new villagers. See Gulliver there. Uh, oh, there we go. Mr. Rossetti's even got there. He hasn't been there for a while, but he's he's got plush. I'm glad to see that. KK Slider. Yeah. So all the things you you might want, they're all in plush form um i don't really like the the color schemes of this these goods really but you've got a lot of the new new generation things shirts as well and uh even if you like happy homemaker happy home designer whatever it's called they've got you covered as well they've got the happy home designer logoed uh merch i don't know what those are little purse yep so if you want a neck pillow there you go and there's a lot of kind of household goods as well I mean, you've got stationery there too, but they've got a, a kettle, I think. Did I see a kettle a moment ago? Um, is that weighing scales for the kitchen? Yeah, very nice. Other characters get a look in as well. We've got Kirby. Um, he's got all his various shapes and sizes and some of the baddies as well, some of the enemies. Very cute and spiky. <laughs> uh, Metroid also gets a few uh, a few little bits too, a sweatshirt, um, some of the old... Uh, what are those things? I'm not sure what they are. <laughs> I forgot what they are. Um, they seemed a bit more premium than the other games, I guess. Probably their audience is a bit older. And of course, this is a Nintendo shop, so you've got the Nintendo Switch and their games. Um, fairly small selection. Um, maybe those are just the Nintendo only ones. And some Nintendo Store exclusives too. You've got some uh, Amiibos, you've got the water flask. You can even get a little gacha gacha machine. Um, I didn't try that one out though. And some uh, special store merch as well some shirts and bags with the whole family on there very cute and these things as well these are tiny little razors and you can kind of pick and mix the ones you want they're from all the different franchises too and uh, once you pick a bunch you can f fit as many as you can into these little plastic bottles and uh, you buy them as, as a job lot so that's quite popular too so yeah definitely check out the madness and confusion of the nintendo store in osaka or in tokyo as well if you can't make it there Yep, so but come to Osaka. This is <laughs> this is an Osaka channel, so I better talk about that. Now there are a few other places on this floor you can go to see. Um, for example, the Capcom store. Uh, there's a few of those dotted around. There's one in Shinsaibashi as well. But you can pose with this giant dragon hunter. Um, oh, it's a monster hunter. Sorry, it's a big. <laughs> what the hell is that sword? Big toothy sword. It's a little photo spot for you. And of course, you can buy the fairly expensive-looking uh, monster hunter merch. And of course, plushies as far as you, you can, uh, as far as the eye can see. I guess these are for Monster Hunter as well. I don't. I guess I'm not really that much of a Capcom fan. I like Street Fighter, but um, look at these little round plushy things. I think that's oh, there's Mega Man there, some Street Fighter characters, so you can enjoy those. And some rather surprising uh, Resident Evil Biohazard goods, like this <laughs> revolver. Is that a revolver? And um, what's this? Uh, like room fragrance with zombie virus, tablet candy. A little bit inappropriate, but yeah, certainly interesting. And there's even a Capcom cafe. Um, they have a lot of these kind of special cafes uh, dotted around with character uh, character themes, so you can try some Capcom food as well if you're into that. Uh, so that's the Capcom store. If you like Doraemon, a uh, fam very famous uh, old Japanese anime, you can go to the Doraemon department store. Um, not such a huge place, but you can see all sorts of things. Uh, yeah, you can see clothes, bags. Uh, people with prams, uh, some of the mango is that, um, some stickers, and those erasers again. You can you can get the little pot of erasers if you're into dry on. So very cute, and you can even get married there. Um, well, no, sorry, that's a lie actually. <laughs> Just does look like a chapel, doesn't it? But it's not. Uh, there's one more store as well. Um, maybe you can guess which one that is. I can give you a big big clue. It's the One Piece shop. Um, so One Piece, another hugely popular anime. 
from Japan, so you can see a lot of de uh, decoration from the original manga, and the usual huge selection of goods. Of course, shirts are there. What else? They've got towels, got hand towels, stationery as well. They've got those stickers too. Stickers are quite cute. Got some little 8 bit ones as well. If you want to buy something cheap. And of course, stationery. I love buying stationery. So you've got all the One Piece stuff there too, to all your favourite characters. I don't know why I like buying stationery so much, but it's uh, very reasonable. And they've got washi tape too. And of course, some original drawings as well from the um, from the original artists. You can enjoy those from the from the movies. And one more place we've got to go to. Can you guess where it is yet? Uh, yep, this is the Pokemon Center. Um, there's a few Pokemon Centers in... Well, there's quite a lot of Pokemon Centers all around Japan. Um, this is the Osaka one. And of course, you can buy plushies. Even the spikiest, slimiest Pokemon you can get plushies of, which I find kind of interesting. <laughs> um, got the legendary ones there too. They've got such a huge variety of Pokemon that it's amazing they have space for all of this stuff. And some special fluffy ones too. They do have some like limited edition types as well. And some larger ones too, if you want to keep that on your bed. Um, little diorama types as well, if you want to have a little diorama in your room. Don't have room for plushies. And of course stationery too, you can get your little, little notepads, your pens. I love a bit of stationery. I think these were stickers as well, little transparent stickers. So I didn't get too into them, but also these kind of action figure looking things. Including a rather strange looking um, uh, Pikachu. What's wrong with his head? Is he having a aneurysm? Um, also some beautiful socks as well if you really want to get cute socks. More stickers. Again they've teamed up with a, like a cool designer. I almost bought one of these but the queue was really long <laughs> so I just uh, left it. Couldn't see the prices either. I wonder how much they are. And some snacks as well. You can get some chocolates, some little cookies. Uh, you can even get some uh, special Magikarp miso soup. You can see that. You pour the hot water on and all the stuff comes out. Very cute as well. Um, chopsticks, uh, little soy, soy sauce dishes, glasses, all the stuff for your house if you're into that. And also mobile cases. I've actually got a mobile case for my, uh, <laughs> my phone. So they've got a fairly decent variety for different models and shapes and sizes. I really like this one with the EVs on it, all the EV evolutions. I resisted. And there's always some kind of display as well. So you've got the starters from Scarlet and Violet and also that giant uh, legendary at the back. And the Pokemon card game lives on. They, they even have little tournaments over here. They've got a special area for that. And some Pokemon um, little video games too. You can play the arcade games too. So definitely check out Pokemon Center. Uh, check out Daimaru uh, Nintendo Store. So thanks for watching.